And welcome to Grandad Reviews. This is the follow-on video, really, to using Silverfast. And I'm just going to show you how I use it to create a raw DNG from the scan, and then how I convert it. Show you three ways to actually convert the DNG. We're going to use a free downloadable software called Grain to Pixel. Then we're going to use a paid product, Negmaster, which they've usually got some kind of special offer on, so it's worth getting. And then I'm going to show you a, f a way to do it in Lightroom that you can just do yourself. So what we're going to do first, we'll start up Silverfast. I've got the actual negative I want to scan in my plus tech ready to go. I would just start up silver fast as I said last time it's not the fastest program to, to start it's found my plus tech so this is uh, silver fast started up very similar to what we had before and we're going to change the same things so we can leave this at transparency still going to keep it as negative but on here we're going to change this down to 48 bit HDR raw now it doesn't matter what you change on here it's going to do a raw so it's it's irrelevant but we want to save it as a dng we're going to call it a name we're going to put it in a folder the resolution on this one's going to be 3600 ppi because that's what i found best with uh, the plus tech everything else as you can see is grayed out because it's a raw file but we'll change this to Kodak Pro Image 100 switch off auto and call a correction and we'll do a pre-scan let's just rotate it so we got it all right so we'll move our box like last time it's somewhere about there like so now if you get some weird dark or it's very dark or very light just try switching on color correction and auto on and off a couple of times and it, I don't know whether it's a bug or whatever, I don't know, but it, it does seem to do it to me now and again. This will come out nearly black, but if I just turn these on and off a couple of times and it'll come right. Doesn't matter what these are set at. Doesn't matter at all. So this is the image we're going to scan. So we've got transparency, negative, 48-bit HDR, raw, and it's going to create a raw negative. It doesn't matter what we've got on here, as long as that's on that. The DNG and set a resolution and if you just want to see what you're going to get change change these it's that's just for your preview and we'll scan it now this won't take long to scan but what you need to do if you can if you've had these processes at a lab you may or may not get the end of the roll and this bit so that was the leader that went in the camera then this bit was where the camera dragged in more leader so this has not been exposed to light but it's been developed and this is the film base this is the color that we're trying to get rid of if you can scan that as well so I've scanned a portion of this and it's important later so we've scanned that, we've scanned that um, blank bit as well, which I've already done. Now in the folder where we just saved it, you've got the night, which is, as you can see, a negative. And then I've got that blank bit, which is, I've just called it Pro Image CB. You need a number one at the front, so this has got to be the first before this, so the first file before this one. 
and I'll show you why later. So we'll come out of that. We'll go to Photoshop. What we're going to use is Negmaster first. So we go, well, open. We want to open that one and that one. And this is what you'll get. So this is the blank. And this is the negative. And to get this to work right, we go to the color section. So drop down the color section. White balance. Take a white balance reading just there. Yep. So now we've got this white balanced correctly. We need to put that onto that one. We want to copy, selected edits, just color, just white balance. That's all we need. Now copy that, paste that. So now we've color balanced this negative for this. We only need to open this one. So there it is. This is Negmaster. We'll just do the very simplest. We're just going to do invert the process. And there we go. And it does actually a pretty good job. I will do another video on using this and what settings you can change. But for the moment, I just want to show you that's one way. But this is a paid version. But there usually is some kind of sale going on. Right. So the other way of doing it. I've got this set that was a shortcut. And this is grain to pixel. Now this is free. So in file setup. We want to go to our folder. And this is why we want this one first. That goes in there. Our conversion. We're going to manually sample the film base. There's no crop because I've already cropped it. We want any color cast removal. We don't need that. We don't need to do anything after that. And it's going to keep it open. And it's going to create a custom folder with converted in it. So we'll run it. And this is why we have this one first because it this is the first whatever's the first file in the list, it will open first and we need it to be this one. Just leave the dot in the middle. Hit that. If you've got more files after this, that are all from the same strip of film or the same roll of film, just click yes and it will use this sample on all of them. And there we go. So this is what Grain to Pixels created. And this is what Negmaster's created. And you see there is a difference. But we've got the basics there. And then we can import these into Lightroom. Because in this folder, got that one there. Don't need this one. Get rid of this one. This one here. Need to save. I'll save it as a TIFF. Done. Now we're going to Lightroom and we'll just import this. So we've got the color balance image. We've got the night DNG. Don't worry, it looks weird here. It doesn't render on, on the import dialog. We've got the TIFF that we've created with Negmaster. And we've got the TIFF that we created with grain to pixel. We want nothing to happen to them. And we'll just import them. Now because we did the white balance in Camera Raw, it saved those settings over. Which is great, but we'll pretend that we've only in, we've imported these without going through uh, Photoshop or Camera Raw. So we'll reset that one. 
So that's how the wood have come through. So let's show how to do this manually. This is our colour balance film base. We'll again take white balance, select both of these or synchronize them. Just tick white balance, tick everything else. So now we've got this. We're going to go to tone curve. We're going to grab that point, pull it up, grab that point, pull it down. Now we've got it inverted. Now all these controls are going to work backwards now. So I think we need a bit more exposure perhaps. Pull up the contrast. Highlights, bring the highlights. Just move them in any direction you like and just see what happens, you know. If you like, you'll soon see what effects you're getting. So, let's add some texture in. A little bit, a little bit less texture. There we go. So, if we can pair that. So, this will be uh, active. This is the Neg Master one. And then this one. Is going to pixel. And to be honest, straight off the bat, I think doing it manually is done a better job. It doesn't always work that way. So they're all slightly different, but all of them we can we can adjust. But this is still the DNG, so you've got full control over the colours in that. Which is right, which is wrong, who knows? You know. It's all a matter of personal taste. But yes, so you can do it yourself. You don't have to use Lightroom. You can use any editing software that's got a tone curve in it. So Darktable, in Photoshop, Lightroom, Affinity, any of those, you can do it. But what I suggest you do is this one here. Once you've done your custom white balance you can save this as a preset and this preset will be available in Lightroom every time and you can call this the name of the film so this one here so pro image will be the same no matter what so we create a preset pro image white balance it's just a white balance not going to change anything else and we can create that. What we can also create, I do it as two because sometimes we create this one as pro image white balance curve. So now this is DNG. So we'll reset this one. So we can go straight to that one and we'll get the, this starting point. And there we go again. So there's my workflow now. So as I say, in Silverfast, I use the Epson B700 to start with. Say, so scan the whole roll, bring them into Lightroom, have a look through them, pick the ones I want to rescan at a higher resolution on the plus deck. And then I'll either do them through Negmaster, or grain to pixel, or do it myself. And just see. I'll do a another video on Negmaster. I'll probably do another video on Grain to Pixel. But yeah, that's my quick look. I'll I do my DNG rows in Silverfast. If you enjoyed the video? Give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time. See you later.